Yeah, a real physicist will tell you that string theory is all a popular garbo science. Well, it's not garbo science, but it's just a theory. <laughs> and maybe it is a bit, uh, extravagant. <laughs> but I like string theory because you have a fundamental problem in physics which is that our two best theories which are Einstein's uh, theory of general relativity and quantum mechanics are incompatible with each other um general relativity is like well actually like Newton is wrong <laughs> I mean, he's not... well, he is wrong, but he's close enough where, uh, you know, Newtonian physics work great for stuff on the Earth, but... Actually, and that's why they still teach it in schools and stuff, but... Um, actually, Einstein, uh, theory of gravity is the more accurate one, or best working theory at the moment. And it's like, basically the idea that... There's like a giant sheet of space-time. The fabric of space-time. And it warps. And the warping of space-time is what causes gravity. And then... Quantum mechanics, of course... Uh... Is... Quantum. Very small. Deals with very small things. So usually we think about gravity on like a pretty big scale, but... There are some cases when we would need both quantum mechanics and gravity. Like, a black hole, for instance, which has, like, infinite mass, but also infinitely small. So how do we explain that with quantum mechanics and general relativity? You can't. So that's why we need a theory to unite them. So, string theory is one of the proposed theories. And it basically says that our universe is made up of tiny strings at the very basic level. That is the smallest... Uh, the smallest divisible thing that makes up everything. But strings are not like... I don't know, when I think of string, I think of like a... A long string, but it's not actually like that. It's more like a... Like a rubber band. A one-dimensional rubber band. And they vibrate... In these... Spaces. Kalabiyao spaces. And that's what causes the different... Uh, constants of our universe, like the charge of an electron. And string theory is also cool because it proposes that... Um... We don't have just four dimensions, which would be... Well, we can talk about spatial dimensions and then the time dimension, which are kind of different, but... Um, it's like the three spatial dimensions that you're familiar with, and then the time dimension. Ooh! Ooh! But string theory proposes that we have more spatial dimensions but they're not expansive dimensions like the three that you're familiar with instead they are small like curled up dimensions that we are too, simply too big to interact with which is why we do not experience them but strings can go inside these extra dimensions. Oh my goodness. Strings can go inside these extra dimensions, and those are the hell of a spaces where they vibrate. And I don't really, I cannot explain why, because I don't remember, or maybe I just never understood in the first place how exactly string theory um, can combine general relativity and quantum mechanics, but it can, and the math just like works out nicely, in my opinion, 
but many physicists will disagree. <laughs> oh yeah, the problem though with string theory is that um, our math, like our theory, is much more advanced than what we can test experimentally right now. Oh, oh, oh. Like we thought with the... The like large hadron collider maybe so like the idea with string theory there's like um I think they're called super partners i don't remember that part very well though it like predicts that there will be extra particles in the universe theoretically we can try to find these particles but um we need like a lot of energy to be able to find them, like bust them open, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not very... I don't know this part that well, but yeah, we thought that maybe the Large Hadron Collider would be enough, but it wasn't, so... Now we're basically stuck because there's no way to experimentally test string theory, and that's what you need to be able to give it... Well, you can never prove something, but... Um, oh, you need a lot of experimental evidence for something to be, you know, considered probable theory. And we just do not have the technology right now. Oh, oh. But I don't know, I like the math. The math is nice. But, you know, the world is not always nice. As we have learned, so... Who knows? Maybe the truth is more complicated. I've already done my rant about string theory. So what is even left in this world? <laughs>